So you're just putting the final details on your website before going live. And you're ready to have all that tacky stuff connected so that you can work out all the kinks before sending the whole world to your website. You may wanna connect a coming soon page or an under construction page to your website domain as a landing page while you finish up the rest of your website. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create a landing page to tell all of your website visitors that a new website is coming soon. My name is Carissa and I'm a show at website designer here to help you get your website launched without pulling your hair out. The first thing you need to do when creating a coming soon page is to add a new page to your design. Just make sure you're under the site tab, then click the plus button to add a blank page. Let's first give this page a name, and this is definitely your choice, but I recommend something simple like coming soon or landing page. Now it's time to design the page the way you want it. So maybe I'll add a background image here. Then we'll add a text box that says coming soon. Then let's say you wanna add a little message to our visitors that says something like, we're busy sprinkling on the final touches of our website. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to see our new site before anyone else. So if you have an email list that you want people to be able to subscribe to, such as like ConvertKit or Flowdesk or MailChimp, you can just add an embed code to this page to have people sign up through that. Or you can also just add your social media links that people, so that people can connect with you that way as well. Either way, it's nice to give them somewhere to go so that they can stay in the loop and kind of stay in your little circle. Now, of course, you can also add whatever else you want to the canvas, such as your logo, a contact form, contact information, or whatever that may be. But the important tip in making sure this canvas is looking as good as possible is to make sure that it's set up to be window height. That will simply just fill your content into the dimensions of whatever device your visitor is viewing it on. And then just make sure that it's set up and design looks nice in mobile too. And to catch my quick hack on how to make editing and fixing that mobile side a little bit easier, be sure and check that video that's on your screen right now. But the next thing that you need to do is to make sure that this is the page that people go to when they type in your domain instead of the home page that you're gonna launch later when your whole website goes live. To do this, just hit the three dots next to the name of the page and then choose set as home page. Just be sure to remember to change this back to the actual home page when you officially launch your website. And once you have it designed and set as your home page, you'll want to connect your domain to your show at website design so that you can begin connecting the pieces and make this thing actually go live pretty soon. Now, do you have a domain or do you even know what a domain is or where to get one? I share all about how to purchase a domain and get it set up with your show at website in the video that's on your screen right now. So be sure to watch that video to finish setting up your website and get the dang thing launched. I'll see you over there.